Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Jimmy Lugwrench, the retro piston cup racer number 26 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review and retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So, here we have his artwork, the old Cars logo in the blue and yellow desert background, and the, the metal logo in the blue sky, and the desert background, and his die cast, which is inside, and, and his name saying Jimmy Lugwrench, and the Mattel logo. And it says, New... New View, Nouveau, Novo 2021, implying that this was released back in 2021. And on the back, we've got the, the Piston Cup racetrack background and the Cars 3 logo. The muddy, rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, which I don't need. Cruiser mirrors with headset or trainer cruiser mirrors. Fusing tractor and the... The drummer Pity, I don't know what his or her name is. Tell me in the comments down below. Cars 3 Murray Clutchburn. And I don't have either of the drummer Pity and the or the Vusing Tractor or the Trainer Cruiser Ramirez and Jimmy Cables, who I don't have, and Hot Rod Louise Nash, who I also don't have. 2020 Mattel. The RSN logo saying RSN, Racing Sports Network. So now without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. And I'll be back as soon as this has been unboxed. So here we have Jimmy Lugwrench all opened up and out of the package. So... Jimmy Cables is obviously a 1950 Nash ambassador, like Louise Nash, who I unfortunately don't have, but modified. And he is a old school piston cup racer that bears the number 26 for Arrow and Grand Doyle Oil Company. During his appearances in Cars 3, he was first seen in, at on fire racing on Fireball Beach with the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet Mitt, and Junior Moon River Scott in Louise Nash who I unfortunately don't have well the Heyday Junior Moon with the number 11 along with Heyday River Scott and as well as Louise Nash herself he was also, and, and in 1954, he was seen, which he was seen, he was one of the racers to be halted when Doc had his barrel roll crash. He was then seen again during Smokey's flashback, when Smokey was telling Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez how Doc had did a 360 degree flip over a rookie, Leroy Hemming, who I unfortunately don't have. And Jimmy Lugrench here was one of the racers shown in Smokey's flashback and at Thomasville. And during his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single for 2021. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his happy facial expression, his red headlights and chrome silver gray front bumper and his chrome gray grill. No tampos on the hood, just the 
gray silver trimming in the middle. And on both sides, we've got the red and number 26 and the arrow and a clock on an on the at the end of an arrow trucking and shipping grand oil oil company the gas cap right there sunset lake north carolina and on the top we've got his name signature saying jimmy lugrench and a number 26 on the top and on the back we've got and on the trunk we've got the red tail lights and on the trunk a red another red number 26 Grand Oil Oil Company logo and a license plate saying J04-10K, I think. And we also have the chrome silver gray back bumper and the exhaust pipe. And on the undercarriage, it says Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand. And that is it. And now let's pull up some of the other retro piston cup racers. We've got the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet. Mario Andretti. Adam Shieldson, my own name for Rusty's Racer number 01 from the Boom Studios comics. Dale the Intimidator, Earnhardt Sr., and Lee Weathers. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which retro Piston Cup racer is your favorite? And which car for tomorrow should I review next tomorrow? Should it be Junior Moon? Speed Demon, Patty and Ta Patty or Taco or both, Rip Clutch Gonski, I'm I think I'm forgetting a couple. Yep, I sure am. Sorry about the shaky bit. Don Crumlin, Chug to commemorate the 10th anniversary of planes, and, or the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments section below or in the voting poll in the community tab. And if you have enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review tomorrow, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!